Good morning, everybody. Good morning. It's Angela and David and Wiley's Travel Adventures. <clears throat> Croaky voice this morning. We're going for another walk this morning. Uh, so we're going to turn right at the bottom of the street instead of left this time and walk along that coastline and see how far we get. Yes, yeah, so as we said yesterday, we'll not film the whole journey, but we shall uh, keep switching the video on when there's something good to see. It's another lovely morning. A few more clouds in the sky. I think it's forecast of rain this afternoon. 22 degrees. 20, uh, 22 degrees, warmer than yesterday then, at this time of day. Which is good. It is meant to be some sort of rain in the afternoon, but I don't think it's going to last for long. So we thought we'll get out for a walk this morning. Yeah, no sunbeds again this morning. Crazy, isn't it? Not enough of them. People must go down there, silly old clock, and just sit there. All, all morning. Don't know how they have their breakfast or anything. <laughs> but there again, it says don't reserve, don't reserve your sunbeds yet. Everybody seems to just put their towels on and disappears. You get the ones that sit there religiously, and then you, you get the ones that just fire their towels on and away. So... I mean, we've never seen the hotel take any towels off yet, have we? No. I suppose it's more hassle than it's worth. You start getting complaints from your customers. Yep. Not worth the hassle. No, not worth the hassle. Well, but we've just gone up on the terrace, on the roof terrace. And it's fine, isn't it? Yep. So, yesterday, I'll turn you around, we went that away. That's the H10 Hotel, Casa del Mar. Then you've got McDonald's over the road. So the beach is sort of split in two with this, I don't know what you would call it, uh, it's a channel to let all the storm water down when it rains, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And there's fish, fish down there as well. And then there's a few ducks on the other side. The fish is so like camouflage, you can hardly see them. Yeah. Beautiful morning again. Yeah. Yeah. speaking ducks. <laughs> so this is where we went to McTavish's last night. It's the top of this road now you turn left. Obviously with us being all inclusive we won't be going into many pubs but we will point out where they are for people who are coming over either to the end of the season or next year that's where you book your boat trips over the road there 
think we're gonna do the dolphin watching on Friday. So you got Burger King across the road as well. So if anybody's a fussy eater, <laughs> a bit like us really. Yeah. They can always come to Burger King or McDonald's. No. Food at the hotel is varied. They don't change it much. It's sort of like the same nearly every day, isn't it? That's all the booze for you. Yeah. And it's not hot. So if you like your food piping hot like what I do, they do have a microwave. But bearing in mind, the big dinner plates don't fit in the microwave. You've got to get a smaller plate. But it's grand having a microwave there. Because you have this in all inclusives where the food never stays hot. So that you can see the beach there. And this is the promenade at the other side of the bay. So you've got a wee restaurant down here. So David fixed my gimbal for us so I'm not filming the, the handle all morning like I did yesterday. So this side of the beach isn't as nice. Because it's all got all this seaweed accumulated up. But they don't, obviously don't clean it off this side of the beach, they do on the other. But yeah, we're definitely having to come down to the beach one morning, I think. Maybe it's tomorrow. Or this afternoon. We might come down this afternoon when we get back from the walk. It's only quarter past ten this morning, so... See if we can see any little fishies, shall we? No. How about that review, everybody? <laughs> so this is the pier. Where you get your boat trips from. It's where we'll be coming later on in the week. So this here, I don't know what you zoomed in too much. That's better. This swimming pool here and that little bar there has never been open. Anybody could use it, which is a shame. And this is another Globeless Hotel. This hotel's the prime location, right on the water's front. I don't think it's all inclusive, I think it's self catering.
So over the water there you can see where we walked through yesterday. If I can zoom in and show you. Oops, gone the wrong way. <laughs> so you can see the cross, the monument over there, and the start of the marina. And if you can see the two cormorants on the the little island. Three of them. So we came to a dead end basically. Hope that we went walking to that hotel and somebody says you can't go on there. Should. Blocked, blocked off. But it wasn't. It wasn't blocked off. Was it not? I didn't know. No, I saw somebody on it. Oh, you're just standing there. Yeah, on, yeah. So I don't know. Probably because we were trespassing. I'm in a different hotel. <laughs> but yeah, so as much as Santa Pons is beautiful, the only thing that's missing is the really long promenade walk. Because it seems to come to dead ends because obviously it's very hilly and rocky and but yeah that was our morning walk short and sweet we'll just come down onto the water's edge to have a look So that's it for today for the morning walk, we shall see you all later.